here's part 50 of me trying to figure out my new angles at this fucking desk like oh my gosh my monitor does not work here for whatever reason so i can't use the monitor here when i'm here i gotta use it only at home like but i'm gonna be here majority of the time so like filming my makeup looks is gonna be annoying trying to find the right angles but <clears throat> here we are testing it out hopefully you guys can see everything okay 80 angle number 60 being tested Ooh, child. hey y'all welcome back to the channel so today we're doing a get ready with me be a chit chat get ready with me yeah so today's topic is going to be um advice for my high school senior just senior year talking about my senior year and like when all went down and stuff like that obviously i'm in a new setting i'm in my dorm room and guys i'm in college now so um class starts monday so y'all gonna get some content from that honestly though my editing has been at a pause because it's just been so much going on that i just haven't been able to edit anything like i didn't even edit my moving vlog and i barely filmed for it like i did not film really good for that vlog like filmed some stuff but like the important stuff like the before of my room i didn't film that because it was just so chaotic so y'all have to bear with me when it comes to getting this content out i'm trying to get ready for school and stuff i'm gonna try and edit monday I don't think I'm doing anything Monday, so I'm gonna go like at the my first class. I only got one class on Monday. I'm gonna try to like go somewhere, go edit. I don't really want to edit in my room. Like I want to go sit somewhere, edit, maybe get some Starbucks and edit. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. But um, let's get into this video, y'all. I got my hair done. I didn't show it on my moving vlog because like I was so I was in such a bad mood when I first got my hair done. So you're not gonna see it. But this is probably gonna go up. Um, after that so yeah so i got my hair done i just want to do my edges real quick i got like medium now this which um i wanted by experience but it was this whole like situation let me tell y'all what's on today's agenda so on today's agenda i have to go get my new id for school I don't even got a lot of edges out right now to be completely honest with you i don't even know what i'm edging up right now but i gotta get my new id because the ones that they gave us the orientation was temporary well the freshman ones were I'm sure everybody else has it okay okay somebody just like low-key interrupting but um yeah i'm sure everybody else got their regular id because they've been here <laughs> but i just got here so i need to get my new id my boyfriend's gonna take me Cause my boyfriend's older than me so he knows the school stuff like that which is good he's gonna show me my classes me and my roommate are supposed to go figure out our classes together like the building and stuff like that but um we might just do that friday so when i go with her it's gonna be like a second like rerun or whatever but yeah I don't even really want to tie my edges up because like I don't even really got no edges out right now. I really do like my hair. This medium knotless is really cute. I would recommend. I do like medium knotless as well. Like when I'm trying to save money, because normally I get braids when I'm trying to save money. Um, but so first we're gonna get into our brows. All right, let's start talking for real though. I've just been running my mouth. Let's really like get into the tea. I love one of my products. I don't like being rushed for this exact reason. Like I feel like I'm just over the place right now, and I apologize for that. But let's like really get into the real tea. I'm gonna go through so much disinfectant spray this year because like you have to disinfect your stuff. Like I'm using so much public shit that other people have already used. Like it's like literally so gross. <laughs> Being in college is gross to begin with. But some people are lucky enough to get like sweets and stuff. Like my boyfriend got a sweet this year. Lucky, but I am in a regular door, communal bathroom, which like honestly, communal bathroom is really not a problem to me my first of all my bathroom on my floor everybody's not here yet but so far it's been like really clean like i think they clean the bathrooms like once a day here and then i just go in and i just spray everything like when i'm using it i don't spray the toilet because i don't sit on the toilet i just squat and then flush the toilet use your foot obviously 
I'm looking down because this mirror is right here, okay? So if you see me looking down, that's why. <sighs> and then for the sinks and stuff, I don't disinfect the sink. I just like pull it up, wash my hands, and then do that. Then with the doors, I just like grab the door with my shirt or something, you know, stuff that you should already know. Yeah. Damn, I did not wet my beauty blender. I need to do that. Let's get on to the topic that you guys were waiting for. Because i just been talking right in my mouth. Um, but basically, senior year. So my first tip of advice for senior year would literally to be like, get my college applications out the way in the beginning of the school year. So for me, what I did was I applied early, like early in the school year, but I applied as a regular thing. So on your applications, is going to ask you, oh, do you want to apply like, if you apply early, you get the choice to apply as like early, uh, not early decision, early admit, what, is, what the fuck is it called? It's early, <laughs> one of them is where you, like if you apply to the school, you get and you have to go. I forget what that's called. And then there's one where you could just apply early and get your, like your decision, I mean your acceptance letter early. And then there's regular admission. So it might be early admission which means like you get your decision letter early. Early decision is when if you apply, you have to you have to go there. So y'all have to really read when y'all doing this stuff because if you decide to click early decision and that's not where you wanted to go, baby, you have to go there. Like they're gonna tell the other schools that you already committed. Like other schools are gonna know that you committed. Now don't get me wrong, the school's gonna keep emailing you because after I committed to ECU, I still could be an email shop. But just like, really keep that in mind like do not hate i would advise you not to hit early decision because you could always change your mind like i doubt that by at this point y'all went through all your tours and stuff or y'all know what major y'all want to do there's so much that goes into making a, a college decision for yourself so really just make sure that it's the decision that you want to make like don't just be out here just making stupid decisions just to make stupid decisions like you're paying for it well most of us are paying for college like don't be dumb don't be done when it comes to college, seriously, because it's money that you can't get back, and college is expensive as fuck. Now, some of people go to college for free, but like, my boyfriend doesn't fucking pay to go here. But me, baby, I have to pay to go here. So, best believe, like, my decision was made for a reason. I'm using these old ass, not clean makeup brushes because I forgot to clean this set. I thought I cleaned all my makeup brushes before I came here, but I did not clean this one. And I think it's because I never use it that much. Be very aware of your decisions that you're making when it comes to college, um, which leads me into my next topic. You want to make sure that you stay out of trouble your senior year. Like my senior year, I had really stupid kids at my high school in general. Like they don't care, but people was getting in trouble their senior year at my school. And it's just not a good decision to make. If you want to go to college, why are you doing it? You know what I'm saying? Like where you want to go to school like they take away your offer because you want to be stupid like y'all have got to stop being dumb like i'm serious you should stop being dumb in 10th grade if you want to be completely honest with you i mean i feel like that's the age that's when i stop being stupid about stupid shit but honestly i feel like if it didn't happen your junior year like senior year it should have happened if it didn't happen yet maybe it's something wrong up there it's something wrong up there like, you gotta stop Eventually, it has to come to an end, right? Okay, so with that being said, yeah, don't get in trouble your senior year. Like, I feel like, first of all, if you want to get into, like, all the colleges you want to get into, when it comes to discipline, you need to stop getting in trouble your sophomore year. Now, some schools, yeah, your sophomore year, because they, like, obviously, they want to see that you change and that there is growth and all that which you know if you don't get in trouble your junior or senior year they're gonna see okay she got suspended in freshman year or she got suspended in sophomore year now she's doing good like they like to see change they really do like to see change they don't like to see like the ordinary kid either so honestly you being like discipline problems in your first two years of high school may actually help you towards the end if you change your act around but with that being said your grades have to like match up to that shit too like you fail freshman and sophomore year or you didn't do as well and then 
uh junior and senior year you did good they they like to see that they like to see like improvement and like you have the persistence to fix yourself like that's a big thing in college is like persistence they want to see you're trying like try hards when it comes to college like yeah the try hards are going to get in blah 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 but also it's more about like like i don't know how else to explain what i'm trying to say but they really do like to see change in okay i might have to throw this out there's some kind of nothing left on it. They like to see change a lot. So I would highly recommend that if you know you know you have some issues, you need to turn your act around if you are planning on going to college. If you know you had issues with school, you need to get your grades together. You should have got your grades together, like like I said, sophomore year. Sophomore year is your last year to stop being dumb when it comes to college. I'm telling you it's the last year. <laughs> and when I say it, you need to believe me because once they see that you like have so much trouble in school they're obviously not going to want you here you know what i'm saying like so you just need to keep that in mind another topic we're all talking about college right now i'm gonna get into other stuff soon but on another note if you want to go to a certain college you need to look at their sat scores and you need to look at like yeah basically like their sat scores like what does the sat scores look at the, at this school you need to look at their required gpa because if you don't have a required gpa they're not even going to look at your fucking application like now all the schools i applied to was in my gpa range i graduated with a 3.78 so i always like my gpa was always like really good but everybody's is not that good so you need to like look and like research that and all that um what the fuck else what else i want to tell y'all this girl came to my room and she was like she needs a shower but like she had makeup on like did she keep her makeup on all right that is a big no-no like yo please don't keep your makeup on all right it's not a good idea for essays for college what i would say is they want to see a different story they don't want to see a story about the general stories like they don't want to see that they want to see that you really overcame something like me i talked about mental health that is such a taboo topic to talk about talk about your mental health well it might not be like taboo anymore but like that's something that i was told oh stay away from that topic and that essay really did help me get into schools your suspension that happened in those previous years are not going to define you unless you kept getting suspended like when i tell you when i'm talking about like suspension and stuff like that i'm talking about it was like one two or three in a span of two years you was constantly getting suspended and you keep getting suspended your junior year like there's no way schools are going to accept you they see you as a threat to their school they don't want a threat to their school for a student that they're letting in like be fucking for real like at that point just be like all right you know all right y'all i'm back i had to fucking wet that blender this is why I didn't put on my outfit yet because I do shit like that. But um yeah, don't don't if you know you a threat to society, like <laughs> I mean you could try to apply to schools, but I'm not gonna say that it's gonna work out that much in your favor simply because schools are not about to risk it all for you. Like they're not. I don't really know what topics to tell y'all to worry about because Honestly, I didn't know what to write. I wrote about like my mental health journey because I went through a lot in high school. So that's what I wrote about. And I feel like that's that helped my chances of me getting into schools. I feel like people really liked, like I think my essay was really, really good. You just gotta write about something that's true to you as well. Like you can't write about the same thing somebody else is writing about and expect it, expect it to be like amazing. Like it needs to be about Melina or about Jackie or O'Connor whatever you know like so I would advise y'all to like really like you know that's something that you need to think about this is so fucking wet I know like I had a couple of friends who came from foreign households living in America that's a really good topic to write about because it's not heard a lot I mean I'm sure it is but like my friends were like african jamaican whatever i feel like that'll help your chances it is probably heard of a lot 
but I don't think like people of my skin color really write about stuff like that a lot but like it's normally a lot of other races that will write about how it was so different being in the middle like I'm trying to give y'all a little something because baby I don't I don't know that's all I can give y'all though because I forgot to take out my other powder I'm just tripping today but yeah I'm trying to give y'all a little something something but like for me personally I only had one suspension on my high school record and it was from 10th grade and I had I don't think they didn't record the fact that like I had got I was on like a lot of like disciplinary contracts and stuff in 10th grade too but I don't think they sent it like over to the schools and stuff I don't think they saw that but them suspensions going your record baby especially them out of school suspensions yeah they on your record that's trust and believe trust and believe your school's going to ask you to explain why you are suspended as well like for me it was self-defense like i was fighting obviously which i was really nervous about writing that but you have to tell the truth that's another thing when your college apps you have to tell the truth about literally everything they find out you lying they can revoke your admission at any fucking time if they find out that you a fucking liar <laughs> like please don't lie to these colleges it's not worth it you tell them the truth they might like you even more but yeah in my case it was self-defense and i couldn't lie about that so i didn't lie about it don't lie about anything when it comes to college apps anything fast for all do not lie like it will get you caught the fuck up caught the fuck up like um but yeah i told y'all gpa i graduated 3.78 but when i applied to college it was a 3.71 or something like that um <clears throat> yeah i'm i was really good at school um i was a discipline problem don't get me wrong but i was really good at school and that helped my case a lot so ooh, it's a lot this might be too late for my skin tone right now but we won't use it in there it's only a skin tint it's not like a skin tone college process um like i said i did early no i did regular regular admission every time I applied but I did do it early so that I could have the rest of the senior years myself and it really did work out in my favor because while everybody else was stressing baby I was good I already knew that I had a lot of colleges that I applied to and I applied to some of these colleges late like the school that I'm at now I applied to this fucking college in like later way later than I applied to my other schools like I applied to I had schools that I already knew I applied to I wanted to apply to but I applied here like late because i really didn't even really care about this school um until i visited and i was like oh my god i love it here uh, yeah um what was i gonna say your junior year like i would say your junior year summer you should make a list of like you should make a list of schools that you know you want to go to for real like why would you not do that like just make a little list to make sure you like slim your choices down and figure out like okay what do these schools have you can apply to as many schools as you want though but remember you have to send you don't have to send out sat scores nowhere and i'm gonna get to that in a second but you do gotta send scores out if you're in dual enrollment and all that stuff you gotta send you don't have to send them like i said but um transcripts over all that stuff costs money applying costs money unless your school gives you a fee rate fee waiver which if you go to a public school most of them will but not go to a public school you probably have to pay to apply to colleges so just keep in mind like this college is really a money thing and you don't want to do too much when it comes to like applying and stuff you know what i'm saying like just do it in your little break here i want to say i applied to i applied to 11 schools one of the schools that didn't finish my application for so because i really did not want to go there it was just on my list just to like apply somewhere but um I got to every school that I applied to because of these steps that I did. So yeah, I would say make a college resume as well. Um, what was on my college resume? I think it was like my high school career stuff I did in high school, and then what I'm gonna add to it. 
is maybe like my college career and then it ended there so that's the college resume and then you need a job resume as well but that's for later on in life you you kind of you really don't need that in college like i mean you could though if you're trying to get like a certain like office job or something like that but other than that i wouldn't say that you would really really need it for anything um I wish you all the best of luck it is a little stressful but once like college apps are done it's not stressful anymore like college apps is the most stressful part of senior year you have to have fun your senior year um like really have fun so now that we're off the college part this video is for them other kids who just went to like what can they do my makeup let me be pretty or <laughs> want to talk about just senior year in general not just fucking college stuff there be a lot going on outside my fucking dorm room like a lot <laughs> i can't even imagine when like kids everybody's here and like parties are going on and shit like bruh between the fucking trains the cars like bruh it's ridiculous and then it's also move-in time is about to start soon as well for these other halls around me so that's that's great like, like the fuck trains cars any sound ambulances like you name it we ecu be having a lot going on especially where my i'm at where i'm at baby it's never any noise but let me get my other satin powder and then i'm gonna get into it y'all know when y'all it's just not blending like what's going on here okay i'll be back and then i'm gonna get into like high school senior year high school in a in the palm of my hand. Wait, anyway, all that I have in my system is coffee right now because my boyfriend did not feed me. And yeah, so your girl just got a lot of energy. So bear with me. But if you're in high school, you really just need to get out and have fun. Like for me personally, <clears throat> I hated everybody in my school. <laughs> so I enjoy, like I had people who made my senior year so much better, but I didn't do prom. Um, a lot of the senior events, I didn't really technically care about because I didn't really care about my school so like yeah you know what I'm saying like it's just different for everybody but I would advise you to do so do I regret not doing prom I don't everybody was like oh I feel like you're gonna regret it stuff like that but okay to be real with y'all I, I like I said I didn't like nobody at my school and it really just wasn't like giving like it wasn't giving I just felt like prom to me just wasn't gonna mean anything to me it was gonna be a really big waste of money when i was about to go off to school where i could be saving it and you know it just didn't make sense for me to go now i will say that my friend did tell me if you don't have like a lot of friends and stuff you could still go to prom i'm not saying don't go but what i'm saying to you is it might not be as enjoyable as somebody who has like a lot of friends that go to their school with prom you can bring other people like you don't have to just it's not just you know you but or your school what i'm trying to say but on the flip side you do want to have friends that go to your school because it'll make you know the school event a lot more enjoyable but for me i just why i hate when the brush just like sheds on your face when you have anything that is so annoying and it doesn't want to come off so yeah i had a really good senior year high school experience life was very peaceful really enjoyed myself i just like being at peace in general this brush is shutting all over the place um that's just the type of person i am like peace is just my thing um <clears throat> and like in high school nobody is peace i'm sorry it's not true so but what i will say is like get out and have fun and do stuff that you want to do i was supposed to be lying for that worthwhile oh, okay we back and the liner looks bomb <laughs> normally i do my liner before i do my face but i kind of forgot today because i was talking to y'all but yeah get out enjoy yourself and really just like it's your last year of high school like live it up where the fuck oh but um yeah with that being said if you're a loner like me too don't worry it's okay like nobody will yell at you for being a loner i mean my parents tried it but i didn't really care because like the people at my school baby if you went to my school do you know like nobody want to be that bothered with the fucking people 
like nobody wants to be with highlighter. I think I put too much highlighter on. I normally don't even put highlighter on my cheeks. I don't know why I just did that, but I'm about to show y'all how I turn it down. This is not a makeup tutorial. I don't really gotta show y'all anything, <laughs> but um, it's like chunks in this too. Like, I really enjoyed my senior year. I still enjoyed it, even though I didn't really talk to anybody. I don't really like talking to people so like that didn't like cause me any concern like i was still living the life was still good i was gonna say something but mm -mm, i'm not gonna say that on youtube <laughs> not gonna say that on youtube but yeah like i'm telling y'all life is really what you make it so live up your senior year graduation came and i was like wow like it's crazy because after that life really hit you like first of all preparing for college is the most one of the most expensive things ever and it's gonna seem like really expensive because you don't have like that much money but like it was really expensive like it was really really expensive and nobody prepares you for how expensive preparing for college is like preparing for college is a bill okay she is a bill so on top of the bill that you have to pay for college which for a lot of us it's a lot like so live up the rest of what you can i know i'm putting like a lot of blush on but blush fades fast there's a reason why and my makeup always comes out good so much business okay thank you but um, your senior year you should be really trying to save money too i know nobody told y'all that but like like i said college is really a bill when you go to college like that senior year summer you need to be hustling because i doubt that a lot of y'all gonna work when you first hit college and i wouldn't tell y'all to work because that is you have to get adjusted like it's a big adjustment especially like for me personally i came from Delaware to North Carolina like that is an adjustment a really big adjustment so preparing for that and it was just like I don't know it's like a lot different than just being at home and people are not going to tell you that like they is just not going to tell you that so the money and all that that comes into it it's a lot but um i don't know if i have any more senior year advice for you guys i'm almost done my makeup anyway like a lot of this was like college stuff but i know not everybody's going to college so i didn't want to make it just about like college stuff you know i regret like being a loner like i said i really don't because of the people i went to school with like my school was just not a really enjoyable place for me i said i went through a lot in high school it has to do with the school that i went to so i was ready to get the fuck out of there but yeah um what i say is don't slack on your schoolwork for senior year either i slacked a little bit but don't slack too hard. like you can slack a lot more than you slack your other years but don't slack to the point where you fucking fail because colleges will take away your admission like they want to see that student today is something don't play in their face do not play in these admission people face because they play in your face and right back right back so don't say i didn't warn you but you can slack a little bit once your college application is done like baby you're done <laughs> technically you're done i feel like i was done soon as my fucking applications was done because it's the truth it is the truth so i mean that was just me though like a lot of people still had a lot of work to do and stuff like that um make sure you pass make sure you graduate make sure you go to school whatever your school requirements is like senior year a lot of people slack off like my senior year class attendance was really really bad like, it was really bad and it was because like we were seniors my attendance was even bad but um don't slack off too hard to the point where you don't get to go where you want to go okay why ain't nobody ever tell me about this liner this shit bust huh? oh my god I would advise y'all to take this advice because like coming from my senior i feel like i did senior year very correctly um i didn't have no hiccups my senior year like cut off the people who's not worthwhile now because you're not gonna want to take them to college with you anyway or the next chapter you like anyway i cut off everybody to cut off and life has been great 
um you should be doing that every year but senior year i feel like it's more important you got more important stuff to focus on than toxic ass people in your life okay now i'm gonna finish getting ready with me i'm gonna apply some lip gloss and then i'm gonna get dressed and stuff and i'm gonna show y'all the fit um this was like a little chit chat get ready with me so this will be a really long video but i am gonna cut some of these parts out so hopefully it won't be too too long but I don't think I have anything else to tell y'all. Like, I really don't feel like I have anything else to tell y'all. I think I really covered, like, all of the topics that I wanted to cover. You see my nails. Um, my press ones started coming up. I had press ones going. And normally they last. But with moving and stuff like that, I should have known they wasn't going. They wasn't going to stay on that long. Like, I should have known. But, um, what else? I think that's it. Like, senior year is your easiest year of high school. Just make sure you do your work and get the fuck out of here like by senior year everybody's so irritated with the place that they go to school with but like it's also really sad when you have to leave too it's really sad i don't think i ever tried this color before so you want to see how i like it let me put some gloss over this mm, it's cute though mm-hmm Wait till I get some clear gloss over this. This is the face for now. Um, I'm gonna get dressed, put my fragrance and stuff on, and then I'm gonna come back to you guys. Okay, so I put my gloss on, I put my outfit on. So the fragrance we're gonna go in with today, I'm holding y'all by the way, cause I took y'all off my tripod, but we're going in with my Miss Dior. And then I didn't pick out what other fragrance I'm gonna use yet, but let me show y'all the outfit and then I'm gonna pick out my other fragrance, so. Um, this is the outfit. It's so cute. It's giving body. It's giving everything in between. Over here is really dark. Like, taking pictures over here is just dark. I normally face my ring light and stuff, but I was filming. So, let me, let me, let me do that. Let me do that. Okay, so this is the fit. Oh my god, my towel's on the floor. Oh, this is the fit. Very cute. Very sexy. I miss my stud. Like, I look so good with a stud and a hoop. I can never choose, never decide. Um, finished makeup look. So good. Let me, let me turn. These lights are, like, really bright. So, they might be, like, making me look a little crazy. But hopefully I don't look too crazy. Y'all, everything matches. Okay, I promise. Um, this is my Bath & Body Works collection. Don't laugh at me. Um, we're gonna go with this. I haven't worn this in a while. Let me gonna take this lotion. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Ooh. It looks like a tornado just happened in my room, like. But <laughs> I'm gonna put that stuff on and I'm gonna end this right here. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully you get some good advice from me. I know I was like talking in circles and stuff, but it was literally a chit chat. Like I didn't have no script or nothing. And my brain was just mumble jump all the time. You feel me? So, um. Yeah, bye.